here is something all of you need to know. Last night, on July 16th, I saw a demon staring at me. me. When my mom passed, she's been recently telling me to get out. And that's when I noticed that it was getting worse than what it was. here back in September, I noticed a cold air, and then one of them noticed I was, I was bleeding. Waking up, feeling I'm being watched, sometimes feeling like I'm being choked. I woke up once, and I've seen a dark shadow over at the piano. I heard footsteps come to my side, like somebody hovering over me looking at me. What I saw was something black, something evil. She's been telling me there's been times something that's been talking to her in her room. I've been getting this weird heavy feeling. Past couple days, I've had a weird funny smell. The last time I smelled it was when I was up in the hospital with my dad before he passed away. It was like a smell of death. My daughter Bree had a toy ball that was in her closet. This thing come out of her toy box, around the corner, and rolled into the living room. That really freaked her out. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they watchers? It's built in 1878. I was told this could be a morgue or mortuary. I just don't want to be here. I get a weird, sick feeling. I get tired all the time. I feel like I get anxious, nervous, edgy. My daughter's biological mom passed away August 31st of 2020. We've been thinking that maybe her spirit is here roaming around and causing mischief and problems too. Maybe she has some unfinished business. Alicia's mentioned crying to me that she's scared. Uh, she's scared that it's wanting to hurt Alicia because she's stepping in and stepped up as a step parent for Bree. Our closet on my side towards the wall, we keep thinking there's a portal. We had another team here, walked into my daughter's room to do a one-on-one -on -one session and he no more closed my daughter's bedroom door behind him. Bree's shoes went from the bed over to the door. The gas would turn on by itself. We walked in, we smelled gas. We was ready to call the fire department. Walked in the kitchen and the burner was, was on. It wasn't lit, but it was on. She said the chairs moved. I was told that this street here is, is a haunted street. The house across the street, the neighbors told me that they've heard and seen things move around and it makes me it gives me like a depressed, sad feeling, actually. And it kept spelling out Z-O, Z-O, Z-O. That's Zozo, that, that's, uh-uh. You don't want to mess with that. I've heard about it, uh -uh. no, that's worse than a Ouija. I have been so scared last night. I held onto my cross. Those made me feel safe. And when Rocky, Josh, and Sean come this is what they would be reading. They can almost help us with anything, so here is something all of you need to know. Last night, on July 16th, I saw a demon staring at me. The demon looked at me. I heard a whisper saying, leave this house now. So four days ago, the demon made me draw this on July 16, 2022. Then it shows like a picture, and then same picture from that. It just... So that's what I had you draw? Yeah, had that weird pointy mask and then it lifted up and it was like the actual face. At night, I feel like I can't get enough sleep because I feel like it's always there watching me. I try to hide under my blankets, but then I look away and it's still there. A week ago, I saw something hovering 
over mom. I shut the light off and I run back to my room. I feel like there's always something there behind me. Like it's like following me and then it turns around like I can't see it and it's behind me. About four weeks ago, I was sitting here with mom because dad was at work and me and mom were just watching the movie. And as soon as I went to my bedroom, I hear something in my room. And I remember having my doll on top of the dresser. It landed right next to the tables. Last night, I felt like something was trying to hurt mom. When my mom passed, she's been recently telling me to get out because she doesn't want me to be in the house. I got scared. I was crying because I heard a really loud voice saying, get out of this house now. As soon as I heard that voice, mom came running in my room asking me what's wrong. I told her, well, I think I heard my mom's voice saying to let like telling me to get out of the house. The ghost was sitting there right on the piano like it was a full apparition. I was right here and then something was right next to me. About two o'clock at night, I woke up. I saw something dark shadow. It came and then it just went away like there was nothing there. This morning, my furnace door, that kept going in and out, like, and there's a week that the chain came off by itself, and that's when I noticed that it was getting worse than what it was. So. Case file. If Bree's mom is truly trying to communicate with Bree, is it possible that the family is misinterpreting her warning signs? Is Bree's mom trying to warn the family or protect the family from a darker presence inside this house? So they hear footsteps knocking. Alarm. Again, the alarm's going off. In her bedroom and the kids' bedrooms where a lot of that stuff takes place. If there's anybody in here, my name's Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. We're three brothers from Ohio. The family says that they see you in here. I've got an alarm back in the bedroom. Oh, well. You keep setting my alarm off in here. You feeling something? It's just got a weird feeling right in this. I you think... set that alarm off again? Okay, I'm out of that bedroom. Can you set the alarm off again? You shut it off now? Thank you. She has seen this chair scoot across the floor. Are you able to move stuff inside this house? You make a, the one on the bed go off? Can you hit something really hard for us, please? Where are you at right now? They said that you moved stuff inside this house. It's crazy, it goes off when we're out of there. Yeah, it goes off when you come out and then... Maybe it wants us back there. Who is inside this house? You know, you're scaring the little girl that's here. Are you related to this family? Shh. Shh. Your camera just 
get started. That camera was completely full. That's one thing they said that batteries drain here like crazy. Who's in there? What are you staying there for? The little girl said that she's seen you in this room. We want you to come out and tell us who you are. She wrote us this letter and drew a picture of you and said that you're a demon and that she's heard your voice telling her to get out of this house. That she hears you whisper saying, leave this house now. She said four days ago, a demon made me draw this picture. If you can talk to her, you can come out and talk to us. Sean, try that ghost tube and see what you get on it. Okay, I got a device that you can try to speak through. So I'm gonna need you to talk through me to me to, through this device, okay? Did you hear that again? What was it? It's crazy, as soon as we hear that stuff, the alarms go off. It was like that breathing again. This time it sounded like it was like right here by my uh, ear almost, like a ghost. It sounded like something was in that closet, like something moved. Oh, that's the closet they hear stuff moved in. That's what I said, something moved in there. Are you in the closet? Come on, if you can talk to a nine-year-old girl, you can talk to us. Are you scared because you know we can make you leave? If we make you leave this house, where do you go? Church. Church. Well, I talked to the neighbor. He said that she used to be a funeral. Lost. Are you just trying to talk to her to find your way home or something? I was out here. Go out towards the kitchen. I need you to come where we're at. They say you even open the cabinet doors. Can you do that for me? Can you even leave this house? If you're back in her bedroom, can you appear for me and sit on the bed? I don't like moving in there. I know, it's like you come out here, it goes in there. You go in there, it comes out here. Close. Close. You know what's funny? I want to see something. Hold on, Josh. Are you attached to anything in this closet? Because earlier Bree said... Bless. Oh, bless. But earlier Bree, when I set up the alarms, you know, she walked over here and was like, you should put an alarm right here in the closet. Okay, the family says that you turn this Halloween decoration on and off. That you set it off. Can you set it off for us? Where are you? I'm in their bedroom right now. Where are you at? Why? Because we're trying to talk to you. Who are you? Are you a demon? Who keeps knocking? Tell me you heard that. Tell me you heard that. Tell me you heard that. 
Was Who that? Who is she? What did I say, Josh? Hate. Who is she? Hate. You know what? What? His wife passed away. The mother. Yeah. Of the daughter. Yeah. And they believe that maybe she came back and she's haunting them because she doesn't like the new wife. Are you related to Bree? I mean, I wouldn't think her mom would come back and haunt her, but I don't know what kind of relationship Upstairs. they have. Upstairs. No way. Dirty. Upstairs. If you're upstairs, come down here. Down. Down. Maybe it's down here now. Okay, you're down here now. Can you just tell us if you're related to this family? How did I die? We don't know how you died. We can ask, though. Was this house a funeral home? In here. Are you in this room with us? Can you hit something really hard for us? No, thanks. We want you to, please. We just want to communicate with you and find out why you're here. If maybe you have a message, but you're scaring the family, and we don't want you to do that anymore. I was out there with you, Rocky. Well, you go get it. Sean, you sit here, take this. Logan. Sean, take this and sit in her room, put the camera on you. Are you related to this family? Do you understand that you're scaring this little girl? Maybe you don't mean to. But you can't stay here. Pain seeing her? I don't know if it was anything or not, but that looks like a shadow. Maybe it's coming off of that. See it going across there? That shadow? There's a shadow that goes across here. Maybe something was right there. But there's this. See it? No. <gasps> it came back. Did you see that shit? Holy shit. It went across and then it comes back. If you are not related to her in any way, then you don't need to be in here. You do not need to communicate with her. Do you understand that? You do not have the permission to. If you're in that closet, hit that door. What is that? It gotta be like about 10 foot tall? Mm-hmm. Well, what is it? What's it keep? There it goes. Come on, it's just me and you. Sinner. Yeah, I'll be towards that counter. Right that corner. Come on, if you're so tough, you come do something to me. Show yourself to me. Josh. Hmm. I'll stand it like over here. It looks like it goes from this frame and then straight into that frame. See it? Mm hmm. What is it? Mm hmm. You can move whatever you want. You can hit whatever you want. You can hit me. You ain't going to scare me. So tell me your name. Come on, I know you're still here. I can feel you. I just can't see you.
Come on, it's just me and you. In danger. Am I in danger? Sounds like a door movement. Mm -hmm. I was behind us. Tell me something about yourself so I can ask to find out if they know who you are. Do you have a birthmark? Thank you. Why are you thanking me for it? I don't even understand what the heck you're doing. Danger, doom. I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. There's something shot down from up here, went straight down. Hey, a device right here, if you walk up, it'll light up. Come up to this right here. Make this light up. And I'll give you a hug. Okay, the door's shut. Now what? I hear you. You in the closet? That's what you wanted? Was the door to be shut? Now you're going to start doing stuff? Why are you in the closet for? Well, wow. shit. I don't know. Do something to one of the doors. Let me know what closet you're in. <gasps> right here. It's in this one. Can you do something louder? I hear you. I hear you. It's freaking scratching on the damn closet or something. Talk to me. I am talking. You're not talking to me. All you're doing is in the closet scratching and hitting it. I shut the freaking door. Now do something. Come out of the closet. I'm not opening the closet door. Child. Child? This is a child's room. Or is there a child in the closet? Did you leave this room and go in there? You want me to have Josh come in here? Evil. Who's evil? You? Child. Second time it said child. What, the, there's a child that's evil? That camera had to pick up that. It's a freaking... Graveyard. Tell me what's going on. Okay, I gotta get Josh in here. I'm telling you, it's like I had this feeling to shut the freaking door. Leave this house. No. I'm not leaving this house. You ain't gonna make me. I'm here for this child. You want me to leave this house and do something to me. I'm right here. I am not leaving. You hide in a closet. And you only come out when a nine-year-old child's in here. Okay, I'm in here now. Are you in here with me? Can you hear me? Who's in this house? Um. 
Are you related to Bree? said that she sees you in here. I want to see you. We came here to talk to you to help this family. My name is Josh. Who is this? It's part of, it's part of, part of what? Were you in this house before they came here? Something, something the dead. Who's me? to the bed again? Something just fucking stabbed me in the side of the head right here. Oh my god. Dude, that hurt. You know my name? Can you said Rocky? Anything like that in my life. And I was getting ready to tell you that it told me to freaking leave the house. It's and, the same thing it told Bree. And it told me I was in danger. Somebody's in danger. Do you stay in the closet? Yeah. Did you used to live here? That's a little bit scary. Give me your first and last name. Are you a female? Leave. Why do I need to leave? Can you stay in here? Who messed with my head? Say Josh? Mm -hmm. Josh. Josh is going to be staying in here with you, okay? Okay, so I'm going to hang out in the house by myself. See if I can get some activity going. Usually when we split up, it gets pretty crazy. Are you knocking? They say that you move that chair in the kitchen. Can you move that for me, please? Okay, it's just me and you in here right now. Earlier we heard you knocking. Can you hit something really loud for me?
No boys. Where are you at right now? Is there a woman inside this house? Wow, that was loud. I don't know if something just went behind me. Well, it sounded like I heard something and it looked like something went right behind me. Catherine, was this your home at one point? Did you cook in the kitchen? No way. Alarm's going off. Oh shit, everything's going off. Catherine, does that mean that's you? I want to hear you. This room is colder. That's the strange thing is compared to the rest of the house, this room is quite a bit colder. And this is the room that we have all the alarms that keep going off. And we think we've seen a few things in here on our DVR. Try to sit in here. I want to sit in here, but I need to get my camera. Oh, doors closing. Holy shit. I don't know if my camera caught that door closing. Earlier, when Rocky was back in Bree's bedroom, he also had the door mysteriously shut on him as well. Despite trying everything to make the door shut, I could not find a normal explanation for why the door closed on its own. That door closed right behind me. Crazy, I hope I caught that on camera. I feel like something touched the side. freaking feel like did you just touch the side of me yeah, I felt like something rubbed right here against my skin loud knock did you try shutting me in this room I don't know how that door shut before. Okay, I'm in the room. Yeah, that door closed. We're gonna get ready to do a cleansing. Is that okay with you? Catherine. I'm out of that bedroom. Can you set the alarm back off? Catherine? I'm definitely not picking up one like dark evil energy. It's definitely got a strange feeling inside this house. Catherine. Can you see me? 
hit something really hard if you can see me. Okay, I'm going to go get Rocky and Sean, and we're going to bring the family back in here, and we're going to do a cleansing. So if you've got a message, this is the last chance you're going to have. Are you Bree's mom? If you are, hit something super hard for me. Are you a woman that lived here at one point in history? Yeah, it's been a while since I've had something touch me like that. It's like if somebody took their finger over your skin. Okay, I want to thank you for talking to us. Hopefully we can help you. We do the cleansing. I want you to leave this family alone. Stop scaring them. Stop touching them. Stop talking to them. Tonight everything stops. You go somewhere else. You cross over. You just can't be here in this house with this family. Okay. Okay, so we got Bree and the family back in the house with us. We're going to restart the cleansing. We're going to start back in her bedroom and work our way through the house. You ready to do this? Yeah. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you defend us and protect us during this cleansing. Any spirits that are affecting Bree and her family, you just drive them away, drive them out of this house, drive them away from this family so that Bree can no longer have any more of these strange experiences and whatever's inside this house quits trying to communicate with her. We're gonna take holy water and we're gonna put crosses on all the walls and we'll seal each room as we go. And our whole goal is to push any energy out of this room and then we'll seal it with the holy water which symbolizes the blood of Jesus Christ, okay? We seal this room, the sign of the cross, and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any spirits that may be in this room, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we command you to leave. We seal this bed with the blood of Jesus Christ. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been open inside this house. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we command you to leave this house, leave this family, and go be at peace. We seal this bed with the holy water, symbolizing the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. We command you to leave. Leave this family, leave this house, leave this property. Lord, we call on the Holy Spirit to come inside this house, fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no dark places for the evil ones to hide. We seal this dresser in the name of Jesus Christ. We seal this bathroom with the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we command you to leave this house Leave this family and go be at peace. Catherine, if you're still inside this house, you can leave now. You don't have to be here anymore. Remove yourself from this house. This is our house. Leave Alicia alone. Leave Bree alone. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to leave this house. Lord, we just ask that you please watch over this family and protect them and keep them safe. Any of the activity that they've been experiencing inside this house or attached to one of these family members, we just pray that you watch over each one of them and just keep them safe. We seal this threshold with the blood of Jesus Christ, sealing this house in the name of Jesus. 
any spirits inside this house, you can no longer affect this family. This family and this house is protected in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we command you to leave. Okay, we're gonna put this St. Benedict's medal out in the yard, okay? You wanna do that? Bury this yep. to keep the yard protected. This house does not belong to you anymore. It belongs to us. We're trying to have a good family because we're trying to find a house and a vehicle for dad. So if you're gonna ruin it, you don't belong in this house anymore. Appreciate you guys coming and helping us this weekend. That that really meant a lot. Love you guys. Yeah, I mean you guys are awesome. Awesome. You guys like I said, you guys need to come back so we can hang out or do something at some point. Pizza Hut. Bye guys. Bye. Can't wait till this weekend. Bye Sean. The Pika